or is this is this full time MMA now? Uh, I love full time MMA right now. Yeah. Back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And the Irish Dragon Paul Felder is snubbed again as he was left without an opponent on short notice. First, it happened at UFC 223. He was supposed to fight Ally Quinta. Ally Quinta stepped up to fight Habib. Paul Felder lost his fight. No opponent. Now, Paul Felder is supposed to fight James Vick at UFC Boise. James Vick steps up to fight um, Justin Gaethje, replacing Ally Quinta. Paul Felder gets snubbed again. No opponent. So, um, and, and he, Paul Felder's like, fuck it, man. Give me, I, I need a fight. I'm, I don't want to cut weight twice. Training camp twice. He and actually, I believe he says it was uh, it's unmotivating as a fighter. You know what I'm saying? It really takes away some of your motivation whenever you're you you're training. You go through two training camps. You start cutting weight twice, and then you lose your opponent both times. Like, come on, man, let's get real. So Paul Feld is like, man, Mike Perry needs an opponent. I need an opponent. Let's do the damn thing. So Paul Felder stepping in against Mike Perry after Yancey Medeiros withdrew from the Mike Perry fight because Yancey Medeiros actually has a broken rib. So now Mike Perry and Paul Felder left without opponents. Fight's coming up. Paul Felder's fighting a little sooner now, though, because now he's fighting Mike Perry on nine days' notice. UFC Boise, I believe, he had at least two or three more weeks to train for it. But, my, but UFC 226 is a bigger card, a bigger opportunity than UFC Boise as this is the best card of the year so far, as far as the style matchups. And of course, you got the champion versus champion super fight at the top. You got DC versus Stipe. You got Max Holloway versus Ortega. You got Lewis versus Ganu. You got Hall versus Costa. And you had you now you got Felder versus Perry. I mean, there's a lot. Melinda versus um, Gilbert Dorinho, I believe. There's a lot of bangers on that card. Now Paul Felder gets to slide into that card, and he's going to be taking on not a ranked opponent, but still a fan favorite. And Mike Perry, Platinum Mike Perry, who's looking to bounce back from his most recent loss to Max Griffin. This is going to be a great fight. I love both of these fighters. Paul Felder, he's a great commentator and a great fighter. Great submission game, but he's also got some hands, man. He just got a knockout in his last fight, if I'm not mistaken. So Paul Felder's shown that he can do it in any which way, but he's going to be taking on the very... Um, tough and gritty Mike Perry who's coming in there trying to take your head off also training now with uh, Jackson Winklejohn down there in uh, New Mexico so he's got a real fight camp behind him a real team trying to well round out his game to not just be one a one dimensional necessary you know more of a, a knockout artist trying to take your head off now he's going to probably be mixing in kicks maybe even trying to control a little more grappling i don't expect him trying to like you know be a fucking d1 wrestler in there but at the same time better takedown defense um and also just more well-rounded so it's going to be a great fight glad paul Felder got an opportunity after losing those two so he stepped up took it and now we got another great fight for ufc 226 can't wait let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. And before we go, shout out to all the full-time MMA white belts that have hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you want to become a full-time MMA blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, or black belt, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash full-time MMA. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.